Hello there and welcome back to my channel. I am Atlan Atlas and this is the second video on the Arthurian Resurgence in Crusader Kings 2. Before I kind of dive in and we start looking at things, I thought I'd give an update on my channel. I'm hoping to be ambitious here and try and make at least four videos a week. This would be consisting of three gameplay videos where I'll be doing a civilization playthrough with a random faction, uh, uh, Rome Total War 2, probably with Rome but again a random faction and an archaeological video. So this week it will be on what is archaeology where I'll try and explain. If you're a bit kind of confused why I'm doing this, please look at my uh, introduction to my channel video. That should explain a bit more about what this channel is about. Anyway, let's uh, dive in and we're back as playing with the Arthurian legacy. So I've now, we left off where my court chaplain has now done a very good job of praising my word and praising the name of God. And it means we have some, some fellow troops. But at the moment, they're kind of useless, so kind of get rid of them. And now thinking about it, we have the Isle of Man. I think we should name to, we either keep it or not. I'll... If I have any comments from people, uh, I will change it. But Avalon, the Isle of Avalon, which was a uh, uh, Arthurian legacy kind of myth island where he came from Avalon and this like, island. So we could name the uh, Isle of Man as Avalon and then we could have like the Duchessy of Man uh, could be, or the High Chieftain of Man could be something slightly different. But anyway, let's... Let's dive in and go quite quickly. Now we're trying to fabricate a claim into Clydesdale and hope in that way we're, we've also now just produced the... Uh, oh, we have a son. That's great, William. And then we also want to... I'll put this on a little bit maybe as a slower speed. But we've finished our construction of the market town, so we should be getting a bit of money coming in. Not much because we're a small chieftain, but hopefully our... Very good uh, diplomat can start to fabricate a claim. We're getting some technology from our spy master. Let's probably go with uh, military organization because I feel like if your supply lines are quite useful and your units know what they're going to be doing, but it's going to be a bit better of a job. So now we've got to let's speed up again because now it's getting a little bit slow. The problem with Crusader Kings is sometimes it goes really fast and really slow. So we have marital bliss with my wife. That's fantastic. But we're still, you know, cruising away as it is just going up. Serbia is now. So in this game, you can also, if you're a more powerful kingdom, or, or in this case the Pope, you can convert um, tribal uh, non-pagan kind of places. So the Pope has now managed to convert uh, Serbia, which is down here. And now he's got a revolt on his hand because half of Serbia does not want to be Christian. Oh, my wife wants to offer me some help. Let's do that. And let us retire to the bedchamber because I'm sure love. And we see the Umia dynasty is kind of crashing on the Astorias. So this is the Spanish Catholics, but hopefully... Charlemagne or Carl the Great can do a bit of differences, but we'll wait and see. So my porcupine is now pregnant, so we'll go back. Britain is not really much happening as of such. Scotland's invaded Northumbria. Northumbria is kind of in the civil war as well. I'll have another son. That's fantastic. Let's get some marriage alliances. So the last one we had was William. I normally go with duty. Because it tends to build them as a better stewardship and it means you can control more territories at the same time. Let's get him married to uh, Princess of Gwen so we get an alliance. We also have this boy. Let's go with, well, we'll wait and see till about six years old is when it normally asks you to choose something for them. Like you can be preemptive and get them straight on an education. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It depends if they're got some interesting characteristics so let's go with Essex as well so hopefully save my son we can have an alliance there and um, we've got alliance great 
and we've already got an alliance with Essex, so we've got doubled that. And so if we count, oh, my son's not doing, my heir is not doing well. Let's hope for the court position can do a good enough job. Well, no news is good news, I guess. Nope. We want to keep ourselves trash for the moment, but we do want to build up our empire, hopefully. The problem is when you're starting off slow, which means that I didn't really want to get conquered so easily, but... Uh, up. So, in this case, the King of Wales, or Porus, wasn't very happy with me. I didn't believe him. Now our alliance is broken down. But we still have a non-aggression pact because my daughter is going to marry him. So it's a long waiting game. Well, we're obviously not doing well. Have we got diseases coming on our land? Have we? No, no diseases. So, interesting enough. So as we come along here, let's go out for a hunt. I like to try and get an eye for a hunt. Yes, he likes it, so it adds a bit more diplomacy. And the higher your diplomacy is, the more likely your vassals are going to love, like you, or people around you are going to like you. So here, as I said, like six, you can start in the education. So I'm going to go with duty, although his learning ship is quite good, as well as my daughter. I think maybe let's go with etiquette, because then we can get her to be a spy master, maybe, and she could, like, spy for us. Here I normally go with castle infrastructure as a tribal thing straight away because that enables me to build better wooden hill forts and later on when you get to uh, high tribal maximization you can go become a feudal society if you've got stone your finished building of here which would be stone stone hill fort or you can go with a market city and you can become a merchant republic now that could be quite fun in the later playthrough where I might want to do that as Venice. But in the moment let's try and get feudal feudal society. So yes, I'm a falconer, that's good. Still waiting to for my main guy. Our oh, siblings are falling in love, that's gonna be good because it means that's least likely going to be a civil war later. Uh so let's expand. I normally go with a war camp because it immediately adds troops to you straight away when you want to raise them uh oh that's good so my bloodline's going to take over essex quite quickly so from that i'm going to go with pride because he's already got a martial ability already up there and it'll boost it up with that so he'll become a quite a good war fighter swede that'd be fantastic let's see if we can declare war no well, we can offer to join a war, but we don't want to. What we want is to take land. But unfortunately, we need that Cassus Belly, which we do not have. Our uh, fabricating claims is going very, very slow. Although there is an instance where I could cheat. We could claim it, but let's keep it as it is because we want to play this as iron manny as possible without any cheats. The only reason why I started with cheats originally on this game playthrough is because when I first made a video with this with this mod, it would not reload again. And I thought maybe not doing an Iron Man might be able to keep it going, so I'm able to keep playing this a little bit longer. Alrighty, my wife is feeling stressed because she's pregnant. What should we do? Not much I can do, she might die. Let's adopt some of the deals to improve some uh, prosperity and we can get some more income. So, got another son, let's go with, again, let's go with duty because he's got a high stewardship, so he could become later a steward for us. I'll just go spend some time with my wife during her pregnancy because then it doesn't cost me anything. Sounds quite harsh, but that's the truth. Or oh, I have another son, Otto. We'll leave as it is. Uh, let's see if we can get a marriage alliance with the the uh over here so then we can get an alliance nope can we get an alliance with this king yes a non-aggression pack doesn't want to we could swear fealty but we don't want to yet we want to at least have an expand expandedness it's kind of annoying now waiting uh, it's kind of nice to do stuff while doing stuff I will support the church, that's quite good because then I get some piety and piety leads to, you know, as there's technology getting better, your uh, 
you know, in the sense, because they're during this time is the monks are doing all the technology. They're the ones writing the books, the scribes, documenting everything and all that lot. You know, in Ireland at this point, you know, you had these scribes that used to write fantastic books and kept technological power and all that lot. Where Ireland was quite technological until the Vikings came along and ransacked all. Let's say I'll rest in heaven because I want to keep going, although it might lead me to die. Have a proper alliance with Essex, that's fantastic. Ooh. Let's go with this one. He's high in intrigues, so let's go for Mility, so that should improve his diplomacy, and then maybe add that for or not. Uh, this is. So unfortunately, we can only declare war. We can only extrib tribute, but we don't quite want that. So our son now is at an age. So let's go with let's go with studentship again, and then my other daughter. Let's go with the spy uh, intrigue education. And my siblings are enjoying each other's company. That's fantastic. Ooh. So Northumbria at the moment, oh no, so they're at war, <laughs> he's at his own little war with them, and then Clydesdale, oh okay, it's interesting, but we want to, let's ignore our courtiers, we want to keep as many alliances as possible, well, wait, let's have a look and see if we can get a better chancellor, no we can't, 15 is the best we can do, and not much else we can do, we just got to keep pushing for that Casus Belle. Because once we've got our little uh, foothold onto uh, here, what would be Galloway, we can start to, if we have enough money, do border disputes and then claim war through that. So let's do a lavish feast and get everyone to like me a bit more, a bit more prestige. Uh, let's have them stay in our castle for because of our just traits. Uh, this is fantastic. We're getting troops, but we don't need them because we have no Castus Belli. We're not at war. Ah, uh, this is kind of annoying. <laughs> kind of regret now, kind of like starting small. But hey ho, let's just try and crack on and keep going as it is. So, unfortunate sometimes when you start off quite small and you, you can't really go anywhere. But let's have a look at the rest of the world. So we've got West Frank here is quite huge. Uh, still got some wars with Saxony and then some of the pagans up here. Umiads have got a splinter off bit. And then Abyssinians are revolting with each other. Abyssinia, which is Ethiopia, is still staying strong. The Byzantines are okay. Although the Georgians over here, who are... Oh, they're not tributes of the Byzantines are doing quite well, while the Sultan of Armenia is not doing brilliant either. When you've got all the different tri uh, nomadic tribes all the way over here, a bit more of Abyssinia, and you've got India, Tibet, the Chinese, and predecessors of possibly the Mongols. And then, you know, the Vikings aren't being Viking-y until about 790 in this game. So we've got plenty of time to weather the storm. Although if they do come and invade me, I'm kind of screwed. In a sense, it's not good because I'm only a small island nation. But hopefully my chance is better. So let's go with a diplomatic education because hopefully he might become a better chancellor for us. Let's go with pride because then we can have another marshal because unfortunately our eldest son is going to be the king of Essex who's under a rebellion. Aha, so now we've got our heir because our eldest daughter has now been married away. So what do we want to go as? This can mean we can get some more money. Uh, it's going to be a tough treasury. We kind of don't want that. Because we need free and we need kind of probably not. Let's go with war chess because we do want to go to war. Our son is now a 50 clerk and he's at 15. It's not better than our chancellor, but we do want to get married. 
So then he could produce some heirs, which is fantastic. Although his wife is not doing very well, because she has only one leg. So that's disappointing. Let's go with then, here we go, martial X uh, traits. We've got some prestige. So what we can do is we can build up... We can. Well, what I would suggest is we build up this so we still have 200. And then what we can do is we can build a retinue. Because all it will cost us is some prestige. Unfortunately, we can only produce like two units. But however, this is a formal of standing army for us. This retinue. Oh, cast the position of marshal. Let's give it to our son. Because then our son will build up his own prestige. And when it comes to him ruling, the council won't be so bad. And we shall have given some money. Oh, my family thinks I'm getting fat. No. Nope. I will stay fat, be good. <laughs> she has a point. Ooh. Maybe I should start eating, dieting. Damn it. Screaming arrows, and we lose 10 technological points. That's not good. And our son has now just got injured. That's definitely not good. Oh, excellent. He's improved his martial abilities. That's fantastic. And is his wife pregnant or hiding? No, nope, she's back. Oh, no, she had a child, which is fantastic. But we want a matrilineal marriage because then we get to pass our name down. Let's see if there's anyone we can Mickey take their... Uh, Their bloodlines, probably not. Maybe the Picts guy, no. But let's go with the Picts anyway, and we can get a formal alliance with the ex king of Fib, uh, the ex king of Pickland, who is now the ruler of Fib, which is Fife, is anybody wondering? Um, let's go with Spymaster here. So now we can see that we can do lots of different things with our characters, but unfortunately, annoyingly, our king is, uh, our chancellor is doing a pathetic job at fabricating these claims. So, but at least we're prospering, at least we're growing. But boy, do we want some, you know, lands to conquer and build up. So let's go with rest new science. We go with weaponsmith to so improve our own little weapons. Come on. Let's get that chancellorship. Woo. Let's get that marriage done so we can formulate this alliance. So Consider we broke our alliances, but now because he's now married to us, we can ask again for that alliance and that sweet, sweet alliance, which will be very useful if and when we go to war. So at the moment, I'm going to keep... So my, my uh, steward is now... Brought up some more men for me, which is great. So I think I'm gonna keep that because I'm I'm fingers crossed that we could get a charge to the ship. Uh, our chancellor will do a good enough job to fabricate a claim. Great, I have another daughter. That's fantastic. Let's go with a matrilineal marriage so we can get another bloodline into us. Ooh, let's go with Carling because it's always quite useful having that bloodline in. Interesting. Anyway. I have a weak claim. Why would I have a weak... Ah, oh, I don't want to have that claim. Ah, oh, nay, nay. I want the claim to have the lands for me. Up. Oh, so, my... It wasn't my steward. It was my court chaplain managed to raise some troops for me. Unfortunately, because they weren't doing anything, they've decided to go home. Which I don't blame. So my weaponsmith is quite good. So now uh, it's been finished. So I can raise up to 600 troops. That's 900 troops. That's quite that's useful for the war. However, do I have any ships? That is a very good question. I do not have any ships. However, I've just built my ship. Got the shipbuilding trek. So I need 100. And then I can build some ships to move my troops. Completely forgot about that. So what else can we do? I would normally go with Majesty. Intolerance, 
so we can upgrade all of these little bits so castle we now with the cities and temples we can upgrade our um, when we have money we can go to a market city which is useful what else technology let's go with skirmish techniques and melee techniques because we have some skirmishes because we have like uh, we don't have actually any archers but let's go with uh, melee techniques anyway so fingers crossed our chances are hit. Well hopefully in the next play the next video our chance does a very good job and gets us that fabricated claim to get Galloway or in this case it's Ulins for the Anglo Saxon name. But I will leave you off until the next time, which will be either this video or one of the other videos. But I hope you enjoyed it.